you guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy tyson we're here for another impromptu of black male accountability y'all niggas is fucking up <laughs> oh my god and if i if i knew enough about kyle queso kyle quizzer quizzer the, the, the one that came out and said it shit about jill scott if i cared enough i would do a video on him but i just look i have videos lined up and niggas just keep doing dumb shit <laughs> so it keeps derailing shit um real quick on him don't come for jill scott don't do that don't do that i think enough black men kind of actually spoke out somewhat it, i mean it was it, it, it was something tory lanes he spoke out a few other black men um uh, jill scott's a legend don't come for her i do feel like that's a part of the reason why they stood up for her but still it, it was better than nothing um so at any rate <laughs> now that we got that out the way mr alcina oh my god i need to teach him how to be a good side nigga because look <laughs> this is Jada Pinkett Smith. Y'all know me. I love a good sugar mama. <sighs> she would have been healing my bills and my heart at the same time. But at any rate, let me let me let me relax. So, <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I'm not gonna give y'all the updates. I'm pretty sure y'all know what's going on. Um, real quick, my thoughts on the table talk. It was really awkward to watch. I'm not one of those people that's like a stan of anybody or likes to be so invested in these celebrities' lives. Like, I don't need to see... You know, When Cardi B had culture, I didn't need to see culture. I didn't need to see people's kids, Beyonce's kids. I don't need to see that. When they show us, they show us. If they do, they don't. You know what I'm saying? With all the pedophilia that goes on on the internet and all that other shit and people talking shit about black children in specific or children in culture in culture's case children who are mixed um that no, no i i can understand why you don't want to show your child you know what i'm saying like they're celebrities but they're still people at the end of the day so they are entitled to their privacy and i'm okay with that beyonce comes out and posts a picture when she wants to and then she goes right back to her sanctuary and I think for some celebrities, that's the best way to do it. Um, not everybody wants to be an attention whore or wants you to, I mean, there's a line between attention whore and, you know, just being totally reclusive or whatever, but not everybody needs to be seen in the spotlight every day. You know, I don't want to be binary with that. So at any rate, um, like I said, watching it was awkward. I had some talks with my colleagues. They actually feel like Will was upset. I felt like he was more so annoyed. But y'all let me know down below. Do y'all think he was upset, like rehash in the past? I felt like he was more so annoyed and probably probably a little hurt. Because it's kind of like, you know, with these reality shows, when they have the reunion and it's like, you could have already gotten over the beef that you had with so-and-so, but now y'all got to relive it and reopen up the wounds. And maybe you know, you were watching the episode or maybe you don't watch the episodes of the show you're on and so you didn't see this part that they're playing back now. So now it's a whole nother issue again. So you know what I'm saying? Shit like that happens. Um, but y'all let me know down below what y'all thought about that. Now, the way that this ties into black male accountability is first off, y'all acting like August Alcina is fresh out of high school. Like, stop it. He is 20 fucking seven. And this, in the words of Jada, entanglement <laughs> happened around 2017 ish somewhere around there that would make him 24 23 25 somewhere around there i am 22 and at the age 22 i have my own business i have a merch line i've written and produced most of my music written all of it produced most of it um i am self-employed as well as nine to five employed i am lower middle class at age 22 and August Alcina is doing way better than me but nonetheless I'm saying all of this to let y'all know that's a grown-ass man you know what I'm saying I understand feeling for him and I understand where people could be a little bit more sympathetic with him because all of his health issues and stuff and you know he's been through, he hasn't had a hard an easy life but a lot of us haven't I'm coming up I'm coming up on a one year almost since I have spoke to my family so we all have our traumas and our stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this is a 27-year-old man. And even if that happened years ago, he was still a grown-ass man when it happened. <laughs> so he was paying his bills, filing his taxes. He wasn't on no, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't on no 50 cent shit. He wasn't struggle mouth <laughs> paying his taxes <laughs> for the first time at age 30. Like, no. <laughs> 
But at any rate, um, I want to congratulate Kiki because I would have walked August like a dog. And I, I'm a fan of August. I do like his music. I like August. Um, very, very decent brother up until these last few actions, you know, and I'm not going to write off his whole character. But I, I didn't like the what he did to Kiki Palmer, especially the mental health. You know what I'm saying? We as black people cannot be preaching mental health, mental health. And then you sit here and throw mental health jabs at each other. You're no better than Dylan Roof or all these white supremacists getting to claim mental health so they get less jail time. You're playing with mental health. If we want to bring awareness to it, let's bring awareness. But don't come for her, especially when you got your own shit, August. I did not like that. He literally lost the little sympathy I did have for him when he came at her the way he did. Um. So next up, another issue that I have with the situation. Excuse me. That was disgusting. Sorry. Black women, stop being codependents. Like, really and truly, um, Jada spoke about this, and I can appreciate that she was open and honest about it, her feeling the need to be motherly and fix people. And my parents actually kind of, um, I don't know if they were trying to do it consciously, but they kind of instilled that in me to be that way. And I'll go into how that's affected me, but um, black women, look where, this, look where being the um, therapist gets you. Like, literally and truly, her whole spot is blown up. Her and Will could have lived happily ever after. And if they're in an open marriage or not, whatever, they didn't confirm that. And I'm glad they didn't because that would have made it that much more awkward because it's not our business again. But they could have lived off and happily ever after with those open marriage rumors. You know what I'm saying? Had she, I don't know why she didn't have him sign the NDA. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Because I'm sure Will was doing his own thing, too, while they were separated. Um, but... Look where being a codependent gets you. You come out with a cape on and save these niggas. And these niggas tell you we ain't saving you hoes. <laughs> like, what the fuck? As Paris Milan says, you got to stop seeing these niggas as your thons. Your thons. Because they not your thons. <laughs> I thought that would be fun to do. It's pretty fun. I ain't going to lie. I almost pissed myself when she said it. She repeated it like five times. <laughs> Oh, shit. But for real, these niggas ain't your thons. They told you. They ain't saving you hoes. So, and they're talking to black women. When they say, when men, especially in hip-hop, and this is a double-edged sword because I am a rapper as well, but when men say hoes and bitches, I hope you know they're not talking to the exoticals that they fetishize. They're talking to black women in their music. Whether or not they consciously are aware of it, that's another conversation for another day. But I just want to point that out to y'all. Um, I know a couple black women who they've divested from hip hop. They said it does nothing good for their image. And although I'm a rapper, I can see why they would believe that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so next up, I want to discuss my personal experience with being Dr. Fix It. When I tell y'all so many people, I've given them an inch and they've taken a mile from me to the point to where, and I had to realize it myself because you do this on your own. But I would be almost like broke, like not able to make my rent for the month, trying to do for others when I couldn't even do for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I finally had to say I'm cutting off the dead weight. I'm not doing the dead weight. It's 2020. There's too much shit going on. Wayfair is over here selling kids. Um, Giselle, whatever her damn name is, that was with Jeffrey Epstein. She about to rat out all these damn celebrities. It's too much shit going on. We still got Corona going on. Um, Breonna Taylor still ain't got her justice. Um, all this weird hysterical, um, esoterical shit going on with the George Floyd murder and um, the fact that y'all parading around his body and shit. Yeah, I peep shit. I didn't speak about it, but I peep shit. Um, even though his family couldn't go to the funeral, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But all this shit going on, ain't nobody having dead weight in 2020. No, no. So, um, that's a little touch, little touch on that. I didn't want to get too personal because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, um, one thing I also want to, uh, the last thing I want to touch on is, um, I feel like there's a bit of a gender bias here because I'm just going to be honest. If this was the other way around, Jada would be all types of hoes. Like, all this sympathy for, for August Alcina, 
all this coddling for him. Y'all feeling bad and shit. I wonder if y'all would say this same thing if Jada was the um, side piece, even though they were separated. And the reason why I don't think that matters is because most people are not admitting that they were separate. They're not including that they were separated. They're acting like Jada just acted on this on her own and her and Will weren't doing their own thing at this time, even though they clarified that multiple times in the Red Table Talk. Um, but even if they, even if it was reversed and they, you know, screamed it to the rooftops, y'all would still call her a hoe, a thought, and a jump off anyways. So my words to August Alcina is close your legs to married women. That's what you need to do. And if you need lessons in being a good side nigga, you go ahead and hit me up. Cause you could have been a rich nigga eight figure. Okay. Let me, let me relax. But you really could have, I could have helped you. Cause I'm, I, I don't understand like. This is you breaking side nigga code. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I can't with this situation. Um, if you're going to be a side piece, side piece, be quiet. Be quiet. Um, especially to a celebrity. you you uh, Or if you a celebrity or a person of lesser influence than this person, get your money. Get whatever healing, quote unquote, that you need. Get your nut. Get your um, rocks off and, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> You fucking up the game for the rest of us. <laughs> all right. So, that's all I got to say. Let me stop being a thought. Uh, <laughs> y'all let me know down below what y'all think of the situation from my perspective as well as just the general um, situation in general. And um, I will get back to y'all on the next video. Hopefully, nobody else fucks up and uh, I don't have to do anything else. But we'll see. <laughs> y'all have a good night. <laughs>